AEN 407-2020 standard is used to evaluate the protection provided by gloves against thermal risks, such as heat and or fire. The results from standardized AEN 407 tests means buyers have a reliable and consistent way to compare different gloves. Note that the 2020 standard has a new second pictogram that is only used for gloves with no claimed flame resistance such as oven gloves protecting solely against contact heat. So what do the EN407 figures mean? EN407 specifies six thermal properties, each with a performance level ranging from 1 to 4, with 4 being the highest performance. The first figure indicates limited flame spread the ability to protect the wearer's hand from an open flame. A flame is brought in contact with the glove for 10 seconds. Then, the afterflame and afterglow are measured to determine the flame spread performance level. The next figure indicates protection from contact heat. A metal cylinder is heated to 100 250, 350 or 500 degrees centigrade and a calorimeter is placed on the underside of the sample. The sample is then placed into contact with the cylinder. The threshold time is how long it takes the calorimeter to rise 10 degrees centigrade. All glove parts intended to be exposed to contact heat are tested with the lowest value of three measurements used to set the performance level. The third figure indicates the level of thermal insulation against convective heat. A sample is placed in contact with a flame composed of turbulent combustion gases. A calorimeter on the inside of the glove measures the rate of temperature rise in seconds to determine a heat transfer index. The fourth figure indicates protection from radiant heat. A sample is exposed to a specific level of radiant heat and the times for temperature rise of 24 degrees centigrade as measured by a calorimeter are recorded and indexed. The fifth figure indicates protection from small splashes of molten metal, for example from metal grinding. Droplets of molten metal at the specific size of 0.5 grams impact the outer glove at a defined rate. The number of droplets needed to produce a temperature rise of 40 degrees centigrade is measured. Then the outermost and innermost layers of the glove are inspected. They must show no sign of melting with no holes appearing on the innermost layer. The last figure indicates protection from large quantities of molten metal. Materials are tested by pouring defined quantities of molten metal onto the test specimen, which is supported at an angle to the horizon. Following the pour, damage is assessed by a visual examination of an embossed thermoplastic PVC sensor film that was placed directly behind and in contact with the specimen during the test. Innermost layers of the glove must show no signs of melting or holes, and no glove material can ignite during the test. To claim a performance level of 3 or 4 for any thermal property, a glove must have limited flame spread of at least level 3. Otherwise, the glove's maximum reported level for any thermal property is 2. Any glove with a performance level of 3 or 4 should be designed for easy removal as determined by a doffing test. It is important to understand these performance levels for you to choose the right gloves and get the right protection. For more information visit aendals.com